highlight and press delete. Control D will deselect that selection. So now just drag um, your picture over to here. <coughs> so it's from yeah, it's from Plant Renders. So and they have like really high quality images. So if you wanted to make like a wallpaper, even you use the same image because it's like such high res. Control T again to open up transform, free transform. Hold down shift when you're resizing it to make sure it stays in the same aspect ratio type thing. And make it a bit bigger. And where the image cuts off, you have that at the beginning, bottom of the picture, you can have a bit lower, but I'm having it exactly where it cuts off. Let's press the tick. Now that, and it doesn't really look particularly good at the moment, as you can see. But we can work on that. So first, what I'm going to do <coughs> is I'm going to right click on my main character image. I'm going to go up to blend options. I'm going to drop shadow. Just create a shadow. Have it however you want. It depends on which background that you've got. Because we said then what you're going to make. So I won't be able to tell you the exact numbers you want for your shadow. Just have it so it looks up. For, gives it a bit of depth on it. Other thing you want to make it a bit more th <coughs> bit more three D. You might have a bevel on it. Put it on soft, and depth is better. I may make it a bit. Okay, so now you see the lights on it. It's just a bit more three D. Just to give a bit more three D effect, really. Okay, so um, now you're gonna make a new layer. You make one behind your main character. Add some like. Detail as you saw in um, this one, you have those lines, and on this one, you have those, and then you have a bit coming out of the picture. And that maximize that again. So, first, I'm gonna do one behind his head, like a small one, a very small one, just to have it like sticking out behind. I'm gonna use the same color as my border just for like effect because it looks more professional and neat. And using these um, splatter spray paint brushes because that sort of fits with the style of Borderlands and the Gearbox logo that they used for when they made the game. Let's choose some more from behind it. Choose some nice like, shaped ones that are going to look good. Might have if you want to have one in front of your character, so cover up a bit. I just make a new layer, put it, make sure it's in front of him. Find um, <coughs> a new thing you want, like choose a new brush. So having them random looks better than having them all the same shape. If you haven't got any of these custom brushes, just have a look on the internet. Just search like Photoshop custom brushes. There's plenty of websites. You get all these free. Just really good are the people that make them. Say. That. A bit better there. Yeah, okay, so that's my. That's pretty much. Nah, this way. That's pretty much done, I'd say. Yeah. So next, you're going to want to <coughs> put your writing on, so whatever you want to write. I'm going to write Borderlands just for simplicity's sake and in this tutorial. I'm going to highlight it. Change the color. Make sure you do like color matches the style of signature you're doing. I'm going to have slightly orange yellow. Orange yellow colour. Okay, I'll go for that. Then make sure it's right. So if you do control T again, just wait. Okay, you press tick. Okay, then go back to the mouse. Now do control T. It opens transform again. So rotate it put it wherever you want. I'm gonna have it like that. Use a font called Tags Extreme if you're curious. It's sort of just graffiti font. It looks kind of nice. Now, it doesn't really stand out that well, so I'm going to do some blending options again. I'm going to add a drop shadow first, like we did with his, with the main character guy. Just make it stand out a bit more. And now you see, it does stand out more, but it's not really that great, so... If we go back into blend options, we're going to add a stroke. One pixel. Oops. Stroke, okay. One pixel. We're going to change the color to gray. 
dark grey. Okay. Now it does stand out a lot better, but there's um, one thing we can do. If we add a bevel on it, just do the same bevel as um, we had with um, the character. Just to, just to adjust it a bit, just have it how you like. I think that's pretty good for a like, quick tutorial. That's it. Then um, just save it. So file save as. There's PSD Borderlands 6 2. Press OK. Okay, now that's a PSD. Say if you're using a forum, most like uploading websites won't accept PSD. So you want to save it as a PNG. But make sure you also save the PSD. So if you ever want to edit it, you can edit all the layers like separately. So PNGs or PNG is probably the best for like uploading it online. You can see that's the format that I got that main picture in. You have high quality images. Okay, that's it. So then you just upload it um, to like Flickr or something. Then you can input the HTML code and just paste it in your form signature. So thank you for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Add me as a friend if you really want to. Just do whatever.